Hey everyone, welcome back. It's a little bit cold outside. I have my jacket, my hat on. I wanted to bring the Fleetwood DeVilles out here, which have served as my reference speakers for about 15 months. The SQ variety of the DeVilles, just about to hit a year of ownership. And I want to give you guys an update. Will I sell my Fleetwood DeVille SQs or will they stay with me until the end of time? Let's talk about it. So 15 months ago, I placed an order online blindly at Fleetwood Sound's website and I bought a pair of the black standard DeVilles and I paid full price. I used my credit card and uh, I reviewed them after a little while of owning them. My review became very popular, received the attention of Jonathan over at Fleetwood Sound. Of course, Fleetwood Sound is the uh, sister company to OMA, Oswald Mills Audio. OMA makes some mouth-watering, drool-worthy uh, gear when it comes to uh, audio files, uh, speakers that are works of art, amps that are works of art. They have solutions for, uh, they have racks so you can put all your gear on. They have uh, a, a crazy, insane turntable uh, they just launched. Um, but OMA is out of the reach of me and most people I know. Fleetwood Sound, the sister company, was made to bring the flavor of OMA, the style of OMA, to more people at a more affordable price. Are these affordable? Well, depends on who you are, right? To me, they're not considered affordable. These are $20,000 speakers, uh, give or take a few bucks. Um, to me, that was an awful lot of money to spend. Uh, putting those speakers on my credit card with interest rates, um, I knew I would have to focus uh, and concentrate and set aside funds to pay that bill off as soon as possible. After the DeVilles were here for a while and I knew I loved that sound, I was itching to hear the upgraded version, which is right behind me, the SQ. Uh, the SQ has an improved crossover. The body, the top, the bottom, everything on the SQ is torrified. That's basically they cook the wood, they bake the wood, they roast the wood so it's stable. So years down the road, uh, the wood is not cracking or expanding or contracting. These uh, speakers are made with real Pennsylvania ash right here in the United States. Now, when uh, I upgraded to the SQs, uh, I had both sets here for a while and uh, I was able to hear the differences. To me, I much preferred the look of the SQ, the color uh, of the SQ in my room, uh, but black fits well everywhere. Was there a difference in sound? Yes, there's a difference in sound, though they retain the same signature of sound, right? Um, which is wide open, beautiful mid-range, beautiful vocals, a top end that's not gonna make your ears bleed, uh, a mid bass that's really full and nice, and maybe not the biggest bottom end, but with a sub, these things are miraculously good. Uh, the SQ is a little more um, expansive, a little more holographic, a little more open, uh, and I love the sound. Uh, I'm hearing what sounds like a UPS truck in the middle of my video here. Uh, I am receiving a pair of speakers today that I bought for a, a second system. Let's see if the truck, let's see if he brings them today. I'll turn the camera around. I hear him coming down. Our driveway's like 1,100 feet long, but I hear him, I hear him. New speakers, I'll show you guys these in the next video. But let me get back to the DeVilles. So having the DeVille SQs, uh, the DeVilles and the SQs for 15 months here. I no longer have the standards. Uh, am I or have I thought about selling them? Because as you guys know, or a lot of you watching, if you're an audiophile or been in this hobby for a long time, you know that when we have systems, it's easy to get bored with them and want something new, right? Um, it's like that with anything in life uh, that I've that I'm noticing uh, on the internet. Whether it comes to cameras, people want something new all the time. When it comes to handbags, people want something new all the time. 
vehicles. People want something new. The same goes for audio. Uh, people are always looking to upgrade their systems, but sometimes there's really not a reason to upgrade. So me, I sat here after a year with these speakers and I said, with the SQ specifically, and I said to myself, is there anything made out there today, new, that I would want, regardless of cost, that I would want to replace these DeVilles with? And I went around to different dealers, uh, driving sometimes as far as four or five hours, listening to various speakers. I listened to Magnapans, listened to Tannoy's that cost double these. I've listened to Magicos that cost four, five times what these cost. I've listened to some new avant-garde's that are out there. I've listened to uh, a lot of speakers and I still, I have not found anything out there regardless of price that I would want in my room back here for my personal enjoyment. Um, the DeVilles bring me, the SQs I should say, bring me everything I desire when it comes to uh, the sound that I like. And that sound I like, you guys who have watched me know the sound I like. I like that organic, uh, soul-stirring, heart-touching kind of presentation. I'm not a fan of a hard treble. I'm not a fan of the lean, lightning-quick bass. Uh, I'm not a fan of hyper-detail where all that's focused on is the detail coming out at you. It hurts my brain after a while. I like a more natural musical presentation that still has plenty of details, but specializes in a more holographic, wide, deep presentation of the sound stage. I like natural imaging instead of analytical or surgical imaging. Uh, the DeVilles bring me all of that, everything I've ever wanted or looked for in sound. They're very easy to drive. They're 94 decibel efficient, right? And uh, they're eight ohms. They use a conical horn for the tweeter that Fleetwood Sound makes in house. Now, these speakers do not have that shoutiness like some horn speakers do, uh, especially back in the 70s, 80s. I remember some horn speakers sounding really cupped like this. It doesn't sound like a PA. These speakers sound extremely um, big, wide open, uh, transparent, beautiful, and have that luscious, deep, big mid-range that carries the vocals within a, a presentation, a performance, a song, a recording. Um, they're, they're a little bit airy, but they're not overly airy. Now, I've driven these speakers with all kinds of amplifiers, integrated amps, preamps, separates, separate power amps, I should say, uh, tubes, single-ended triode, uh, push-pull tubes. I've tried it with class A, class AB, class B, and class D amplification. Uh, the absolute best I've heard them sound in my space. After hearing all of these beautiful solutions, I don't think I've ever heard them sound bad. I've heard them sound a little dull at times, the standard DeVilles, and that was an amplifier and DAC issue. But the best I've heard these sound, and they do require um, careful matching, right? So you have the right synergy. They require a careful placement in your room. They require a decent room. Speakers of this caliper, you want a decent room to put them in uh, because the room is what really makes the music. Uh, it's the one part of the equation so many people uh, don't think about, but the room is very important. So these speakers deserve the best you can throw at it. The best I've heard them sound uh, is currently with the Pass Labs XP22 and X250.8 amplifier. That combo delivers full magic with the Fleetwood DeVilles. Um, and that's a class A amp for the first 15 watts or so. And I never really leave that first 15 watts. A close second place to the best I've heard them comes in at a much more affordable price. And I can't believe it even to this day. But my last review was for the Heaven 11 Billy Mark II integrated amp. I fell in love with this amp so much that I bought the review unit and it's going to power the new speakers that showed up today in a different room. But um, that Billy Mark II hooked up to the DeVilles with my Rel S510 sub is about as pleasing and magical that I could ever ask for. And that's a $2,000 all-in-one integrated amp. 
it doesn't quite reach the peak the ultimate level of the past lab separates but it's still extremely musical it still paints a somewhat three-dimensional sound stage it has even a fuller mid bass which makes almost all music sound incredibly good so i've been listening to these for the past month or so or three four weeks on the billy mark ii and i still haven't taken it out but if I want to jump up to even more excitement and a little more energy and a little more realism, the past lab separates really, really do the trick. All kinds of noises. We live out here in the woods. You never know what you're going to hear. Um, but the past labs gear is very expensive. That's something that, say, you're looking at speakers and you're thinking about making an investment in something like the DeVilles, but you don't have the wallet it'll bust your wallet to buy uh something like the past lab separate start with a billy mark ii it does extremely well with the speakers uh even though i can say i am using an external dac with it i'm using my dcs lena with the clock and some shunyata cables and that uh it just synergizes so well with these speakers there's nothing bright or forward about that dac at all it just meshes really well so am I going to sell these? There was a time, you know, I, I used that in the title. Am I selling my DeVilles or something to that nature? There was a time I listed these for sale. Uh, it was last year. I was making videos here on this channel and a medical thing popped up with me. I lost um, 36 pounds in less than two months and I wasn't trying to lose weight. And you could see it if you look back at some of my videos during this time. Well. I had medical issues that ended up costing me out of pocket, meaning out of my own pocket, $15,000. And I even have insurance. That's like a $1,200 a month plan. It's absolutely insane, but I didn't have just $15,000 laying around. So I was going to sell these DeVilles. It was the only thing I had uh, that I knew I could get the money to pay that medical bill, but I just couldn't do it. So I found other items I could sell to pay those bills. And I knew if I sold these that I would instantly regret it and I'd never be able to buy them again. Um, so I'm glad I didn't do that. Uh, am I selling these to Vils? No, unless a life emergency gets thrown at me and I need some, I need 20 grand or 15 grand uh, in an instant, that would be the only way um, I would sell them in a life emergency. Uh, other than that, I plan on keeping these um, for as long as I can, for as long as they keep pleasing me as they do. And after going around hearing the Tannoys and hearing these other expensive speakers and saying to myself, well, the DeVilles sound better in my room at home than these speakers that cost double. I know there's nothing out there that I'm interested in replacing this with, so why in the heck would I sell them? I could downgrade, right? Which... I could be happy living with a pair of bookshelf speakers in my room without problem. Dyne Audio, Heritage Special, some of my favorite speakers. Dyne Audio, Special 40, some of my favorite speakers. Bucard S400 Mark IIs are gorgeous little speakers that I could live with and be happy. But for the first time in 35 years, I found speakers right here. I spent a lot of money for them, but I've never heard any as genuinely pleasing as the Fleetwood DeVille SQs. I love them. They're the best speakers I've ever heard uh, in 35 years of audio, and they're still rocking in my reference room. I get a lot of people emailing me, are you selling your DeVilles? Where's your DeVilles? Did you sell your DeVilles? Uh, there's no way you still have your DeVilles. I'm like, oh, yeah, I still have them, because when something's good and great, I do keep it. Uh, DCS Lena Dac, I have no desire to offload or sell, right? My PSM-156 Puritan Audio Power Purifier, one of the best investments I made in my system. I'm never going to get rid of that. I now actually upgrade it to all of their ultimate cables, power cables for every piece of my gear. Um, you know, so everything is copacetic. Everything is synergizing really well in my room. I don't want to mess that up, nor should I. So Fleetwood DeVille SQs, after a year, 15 months with the DeVilles in general, I am as happy as a clam. I'm happy as I've ever been with them. Happier than the first few days they were here. Um, it's something I've bonded to. So these are not cheap speakers, but um, for me, 
they delivered exactly what I needed from them, and I find them to not be overpriced in the slightest. Um, if this is something within your budget, you've been thinking about the DeVilles, uh, always try to audition first, because what I like, you may not. Um, I don't make any money from Fleetwood. I don't get commissions. I'm just telling you my honest feelings. So hope you enjoyed this update to the DeVilles. I'm going to take them out here and get some B-roll footage of them so I can throw that in. And maybe I'll open this new box here, the speakers that just arrived, and we'll see what is inside so you guys can take a look at what the next video will be about. I'll see you next time. Thumbs up, subscribe, feel free to share and uh, have a great rest of your day.